Produced by the multimedia art company Lighthouse Immersive, the show presents paintings and illustrations by the Ukrainian writer, artist and political activist Taras Shevchenko, who lived from 1814 to 1861. It is modeled on the company's popular Immersive Van Gogh and Immersive Frida Kahlo exhibits and was designed by associate producer Valery Kostyuk. Creative consultant Richard Ozonian recalls Kostyuk bringing the immersive Shevchenko idea to the lighthouse management. And we went, who? Because of course if you're not Ukrainian you don't know him. And he told us and we went, this sounds wonderful. Uh, so he, we gave him the time off from work. We all said, take the ideas you've learned here. And he went back to Ukraine and with colleagues over there put this show together and it was an enormous success. Following Russia's invasion, Ozonian says the lighthouse team knew they needed to do something. Horrible things happened and one of their first thoughts was we must do something for the people of Ukraine. One of our employees has already done a beautiful tribute to one of the greatest artists in Ukraine's history. Why don't we show it? All proceeds from ticket sales will benefit two charities that are helping Ukraine, including the Red Cross and the National Bank of Ukraine Fund. In addition to the fundraising, Ozonian says the company hopes to increase appreciation for Ukrainian cultural hero, renowned for assisting Russian oppression of his country in the 19th century. One of the things that will touch anyone in the world the most is probably the most famous painting and poem that Shevchenko did, which is Katrina. And it's the story of a young Ukrainian girl who has an affair with a Russian occupying soldier. And he gets her pregnant and he leaves her. And her family disowns her. And she is so depressed. She makes sure her son will be taken care of. And then she commits suicide. And it puts a face on what happens to a country when people come in and impose their will on it and try to change them and use them. Zonian says Shevchenko's resilience against Russian oppression is relevant in today's conflict. When you see this exhibit new, you, you'll see how this beautiful young man, at the age of 47, he looks like he's 77, because he w was so worn out, but he came back from 10 years in Siberia and would not let that destroy him. He said Ukrainian, Ukrainians must always fight and be free. That's our message. We're proud to help spread it. The immersive Shevchenko benefit is showing at Lighthouse Galleries in Boston, Chicago, Denver, Los Angeles, Toronto and San Francisco. Svetlana Pristinska for VOA News, Denver, Colorado.